Alright guys, this just came about. The alleged SEC Ripple lawsuit private meeting for Thursday was just cancelled. Now, I don't think this is um, a meeting between the SEC and Ripple guys, though I do believe they are already in talks of some type of um, middle ground, but um, this just got cancelled as well. Now, this meeting has been getting delayed and pushed back. I don't know for what reason, right? I don't think this has any, anything to do with um, Ripple, the Ripple case at all, though. But it is a little bit weird if you ask me. Um, now today is 7.30, 7.31 guys. And and a lawyer within the community um, did say that his prediction is today guys. Or by today the case should end. Now it did not happen I guess. I guess there is still a little bit of time. Um, but the day is basically almost over guys. And August is here very shortly now. Um, August I think attorney Jeremy did say by August, if not mistaken, or by September, uh, by the latest, guys, right? So we're basically almost there. Now, I truly am excited, guys, because this happened today, and this is one of the mo mo most, um, or this was one of the most important events, guys, until the next one, which is on September 18th, if not mistaken, from Macha Guru. Breaking, Federal Reserve leaves interest rates unchanged, remains at 5.25% to 5.50%, guys, okay? And... This is huge because, again, they're holding what rates steady, guys. Usually, as history does show, when they hold rates steady, the market only goes up, nowhere but up, right? Though we are consolidating right now. Um, again, now, 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 people will be fooled, right? Whenever they do cut rates, probably once two months max, uh, until until the markets literally die. Right, so we have a little bit of time, it seems, as on on our hands. Why is this weird, you may ask? Because the case didn't come to a conclusion now, okay? This is what's weird about Ripple and the Federal Reserve. I, I'm literally exposing it all, guys, okay? So today was this meeting, right? And the case has still not concluded between Ripple and the SEC, guys. What does this mean? My prediction was from a while back ago that the case will end whenever... The Federal Reserve starts cutting rates, okay? And they did not do it today. The next meeting is on September 18th. Well, what does that mean? During the month of September, right? The case will finally conclude for Ripple. But remember, when it concludes, what what we do know is if if um if 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 they if the Federal Reserve starts to cut rates, guys, right? That's probably going to mark the top, right? The short-term top before the second top appears later uh, in the year 2025, right? So if the case for Ripple ends, that means XRP will have a huge explosion, but then it's going to price protect itself and fall back down, right? During that recession. I don't know, guys. There's a lot of different theories here, um, but I would be very careful, right? This is um, very exciting as well that we're nearing the Federal Reserve rate cuts. But at the same time, look at this. This is un unbelievable because the Fed uh, repeats waiting for greater confidence on inflation to cut. Right? They are so behind the curve. They will panic cut in September. Right? I think, I think, I think, guys, they know what they are doing. Right? These people are not naive. Right? Um, they definitely have had, had the call to hold rates steady until one day something breaks right and, and that's due to what that will be some type of that will be some type of black sun event i think this is why we need we need them to pump it guys right before anything bad occurs biden says there will be there will be rate cuts um before the end of the year 100 percent there will be right um the fed says that interest rate cuts could become as soon could come as soon as september Again, this is important because it ties in with the Ripple versus SEC case, guys. And then uh, here shortly, we have to talk about Bitcoin as well, right? There's uh, the monthly the monthly candle just closed for everything, guys. Um, and a lot of things are happening. Let's go. The question will be whether the totality of the data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks are consistent with rising confidence on inflation and maintaining a solid labor market. If that test is met, a reduction in our policy rate could be on the table as soon as the next meeting in September. September. You guys see that? Now, what do you guys notice? Uh, what do you guys notice what he's wearing? 
what did I say, guys? So I heard this uh, theory that whenever this person, right, Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, wears a purple tie, that means the markets will be bullish until the next meeting. Now, this is very important. This isn't financial advice, guys. Nothing is. It's all speculation at the end of the day. But there's uh, facts and whatnot mixed in, into all of this. Now, check this out. If, remember this video, okay? If Jerome Powell wears a different colored tie during September 18th, guys, on that day, what, is, what would that signal? An incoming recession or some type of black swan, which means markets dump, okay? Just keep that on the back of your mind. Now, the stock market is absolutely uh, pumping because this is NVIDIA, guys. It has been pumping. Look at that, right? So very huge news because if the stock market goes up, we will as well. Not to mention, these insiders have been buying and gobbling up the NVIDIA stock, right? Um, and, and not to mention, I wanted to I wanted to throw this in here as well, is that Congress wants to ban politicians, right? Wants to ban themselves from um, buying and selling stocks, Okay. And people believe it's going to be happening around that fall time frame once again, which is odd and strange if you ask me. Now, let's talk about China. So China is printing, guys. This 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 will give us, I think, fuel um, to go higher and higher and higher because the United States will follow, right? So this is net liquidity injections, injecting liquidity into the market, guys. I think this is China. Um, and look at that. It's going higher and higher and higher, right? Which means, will America follow? Hopefully. Check this out. This is the global liquidity um, index, and which ties into Bitcoin, okay? Which ties into all coins. So this comes from Ash Crypto. He's pointed towards the GMI total liquidity index, guys, and and it's color coded, okay? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. So as we see right here, um, this perfectly coincides with Bitcoin's parabolic run, right? So this is giga bullish, guys. Now, now, yes, short-term volatility does not matter. What matters is this. Do you guys see the overall trend? Most people are too worried, uh, too worried on the day to day. But if we look at, uh, if we look at the overall trend, guys, it just go it's just going to calm you down, right? It's like a deep breath. <sighs> exactly. Now, so, so, so right now. We are in a liquidity cycle of summer. Each time during summer, this is Bitcoin, guys, okay? What did it do? Pumped. And and, and the span is for a year, right? 2012, 2016, 2020, and 2024, okay? This year should be a pump year. Now, fall is next year, guys, 2025. Fall pumps even crazier as well, right? It just goes up and up and up, guys. Look at that again. What do we talk about? The cycle will probably end end of 2025, I think, because winter is what? Down, down, down. Don't you guys see? Right? So let's say we go something like this, guys, come back down, but then go higher. Right? Like this. Top right there, guys. I think we literally cracked the code. Right? I think we know we hit the timeline on its head, guys. Now, listen to Raoul Powell right here because history is in, the, is, in, is in the making, guys. Right now, we're looking at the day today, but listen to what he says about 2032 and how this market will head to $100 plus trillion dollars easily, in my opinion. And XRP will take a huge chunk of this market. Now, but each of us, let's go. You've got an ability to create enormous wealth on a distributed basis to all sorts of people who are not included. You know, my personal view is this industry goes from a $2.5 trillion on industry today and probably hits about 100 trillion by about 2032 or so. That's two and a half to 130 trillion, guys, or 100 plus trillion by 2032, right? So what do we think about that, guys? Again, that that is major if you ask me, right? That's like, wow, that, that's that's a lot, guys, right? Because that means so much money is flowing in, guys. And certain altcoins don't even need that much liquidity to pump it 100x or 1,000 or 10,000. Do we see what's happening here, right? So don't be worried to uh, don't be too worried about the day to day, but look at the years ahead of us. It's just extrapolating the normal adoption curve, not not doing anything crazy. That growth from two and a half trillion to hundred trillion would be the fastest, largest um, accumulation of wealth in all human history. But for once, it's in the hands of the many. This was a retail revolution. Because retail front ran Wall Street, right? As they say. Now I don't know if that's true, but um, retail could have bought uh, Bitcoin early on, right? Because with stocks, you can't. 
you gotta go through um, different obstacles, right? You gotta go through different checkings, guys, to buy certain uh, shares or whatnot, right? Stocks before it, it even goes public, right? Because there's a there's a reason why they have to IPO. Um, so, yeah, guys, right? So things are already happening. This is this is a huge uh, rev uh, revolution to say the least, right? The re retail front around the institutions. So people have this once in a lifetime chance to invest in this infrastructure layer of the internet and have an ownership of it. And that is incredibly egalitarian and democratic in ways that the financial system is not being. Yes, as, as, you, as you so elegantly put it, right? this is the only asset class where the retail has front, front run the institution. All that asset class is the institution that adopted and then tried to sell it to the retail, right? So this is a fascinating industry to watch. And again, this is the craziest thing, guys, because I don't think anybody else will say this. Why? They gave us, they gave retail the opportunity to front run themselves. You guys want to know why? Because this is a new financial system, right? What stocks it isn't. You guys see the difference? Instead, if they gave, uh, since they gave retail the opportunity, right, to front run themselves, guys, that means one thing. They want retail to become comfortable with this type of technology, which is odd and strange if you ask me, right? Um, programming us the people for the new financial system right so that's a small price for them to pay to making us rich guys but at the end they have brought upon a, a, a literal new financial system right weird wow these people are honestly five eight nine steps ahead but we're five nine zero steps ahead I've seen crypto, I mean, I've traveled the world quite extensively. I've seen crypto changes the life of so many oh. people and so many people to come. And that is part of the excitement for me as well. And, and lives will be keep getting changed for the better guys, right? Because nothing has even happened yet, right? We haven't even entered that parabolic stage, if you ask me, right? Because we're, there's just going to be more adoption and more innovation, guys, coming from everywhere, right? Um, and especially before the collapse, yes. Wow, California just put 42 million car titles on the blockchain, right? Again, every industry will be put on the, on, onto the blockchain, guys. Again, people front ran, right? So people are now comfortable with this type of idea. Crazy if you ask me. So we're, we're basically in good hands, good hands, guys. All we have to do is sit on our hands and see what happens next. But this isn't financial advice. Let's go. What do you say? So if you guys amazing. See ya. I'm actually excited. Let's prepare.